There we go. I can't believe I'm actually live on time. That's pretty rare. Let's go. Lately, I've been a little, uh, I've been slacking a little bit. Welcome, everyone. How is it going? Super excited to have you. Let me turn that down a little bit. Ready for more Tower of God? Because I am, bro. It's Tower of God time, dude. I swear, if we get more Traumari, I'm going to lose my mind. If we get any more panels, I don't care if it's one panel. I don't care, dude, I don't, it's, I just need more Traumari. I need more Traumari, one way or another. Boom, sharing with the Discord. There we go. There we go. Now I'm seeing the chat. What's up? Uh, <laughs> 11 a gung elite says cookie. Well, actually, here is the deal, okay? I actually gave it a second attempt. Remember last week how they were a little bit burned and they were, uh, it, it wasn't exactly ideal? Look at these bad boys. Look at these bad boys, dude. I wanted to redeem myself, okay? Because th those look like cookies, okay? Last week, they looked like burnt biscuits. Now, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't actually tried it. <laughs> How come the Spider Girls team is at floor 7, but our team's at floor 6? That's a reference to Towers and Gods. I mean, you're gonna have to uh, watch the show. I don't know. I guess Stex's team is pretty strong. Nice cookies. Thank you. I actually haven't tried it yet, so... Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, it just melts up. Oh, dude. It's over, bro. It's done. 15 minutes, not 18 minutes. You got it, bro. I'm just going to end the stream and eat my cookies. Okay? Does that sound good? Hi from France. What's up, Willem? Shout out to France. We have to remember, like, Stex's team is kind of insane. Like, Stex's team has Boris, who is from a great family. So does the main squad, obviously. The main squad has multiple members from the great families. But they're also a smaller team, which means they don't need as many points to take the test. Um, you know, like, our main squad is eight people, so they have to save up a lot of points. Stex's team only has five. But anyway... Yeah, someone in chat's talking about Gen 9. Dude, Sword and Shield. When did Sword and Shield come out? Because I feel like it wasn't that long ago. Oh, wow, 2019? Okay. So, two years ago? It'll, it'll be three years. That's kind of insane. Game Freak just went straight into Gen 9, bro. That's crazy. That's insane. All right, we need to talk. We need to talk about the starters. Because when I first saw these starters, I thought for sure they were fake. I thought for... I w it threw me off. I was like... These look these look like fan-made Pokemon. But the longer I've looked at them, I actually really like them. They look older. They look a bit more like Gen... Gen... Gen 5, maybe? I'm getting a Gen 5 feel. I'm not just because of Ducklet Jr. over here. But anyway... I love Sprigatito. Sprigatito is so cute. Sprigatito is adorable. Cal? Mm-hmm. Cal is also from a great family, although... He doesn't have as much potential as someone like Boris, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, right. The little fire croc? Yeah, Fue Coco is also cute. But honestly, Quaxley, I bet you, is going to be sick. I bet you Quaxley's going to evolve into, like, a crazy thing. Have you seen the fan artwork for Season 2 anime? Guess what? The person who did that art, Yurino Yama, if it's the one I'm thinking of, is the person who does the Towers and Gods art. So it's the same artist. So yes, indeed, I have seen it. That's what made me get into contact with that person. Sorry I'm late with playing Elden Ring. I don't blame you, dude. 
I don't blame you because I was playing Elden Ring too. Okay. Me and my friend, we just cleared a couple dungeons. It was freaking sick. But anyway, let's go ahead and break down uh, this last chapter as kind of a review, as always. Okay, let's start at the beginning. I was like, is this the new chapter? Why are we starting with Travarai? So, okay, this chapter was actually history making. Okay, history making. Team Water? Okay, I'm usually Team Water. Okay, I like Squirtle. You know, I like, um... Oshawott, I like, um, even like Gen, Gen 7, I, I picked, um, uh, Poplio, and in Gen 8, I picked, uh, I picked S uh, Sable, so I'm a water guy too, you know what I'm saying, but I think this time I gotta go grass, especially since there's always so many water options, anyway, we can talk about that all day, so we start with Kalavan and Liboric, and I gotta say, the, the way this fight finishes, because I'm assuming it's somewhat complete, unless Kalavan, you know, decides to, to pick up the fight again, freaking sick, the boy Kalavan, now, here's the thing, Liboric kind of, like, the question is, here's my question, if Liboric didn't juice up Kalavan, would he still have lost? I think so, although it would have taken, it would have been insane, like, it would have been so close, right? But because he juiced up Kalavan, it was like no shot, no question. So easy for Kalavan to absolutely roll, okay? He rips his shirt off but keeps his shorts, okay? That's very important. And he just absolutely rolls Liboric. It's not even close. I love this shot, bro. The essence of bravery. Uh, dude, the, the coloring of Kalavan's Shinsu is on another level. Had those cookies look awesome? Thank you, Hannah. I was going to say, if you haven't seen them yet, I was going to show you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I think I just, I think, okay, my problem, what not to get on a baking thing, but I, my butter wasn't softened. I think that's what did it. So it was like, it took me forever to like mix everything. And I, I was supposed to mix the wet ingredients separate and the dry. And I just did it all together. This time we're in business, bro. We're in business. Maybe a little bit longer, but we're in business. Anyway, freaking sick, bro. So he rolls Liboric, but then Liboric, the coward that he is, you know, the complete freaking coward, says, ah, ah, I, I'm going to tell Jihad on you, Kalavan. If you hit me again, I'm going to tell dad. And then Kalavan's like, oh, <laughs> oh, you're going to tell dad. Oh, <clears throat> right. Got it. And he instantly switches. I mean, instantly. The man doesn't hesitate to immediately follow Libor. Uh, yes, uh, Traumarai. <laughs> we got there. Traumarai. Now, the funny thing, like, it makes sense, though, right? Because we think of, like, Jihad as, uh, as kind of on his own. But the family heads are the next closest thing to Jihad. They are the next best thing. They are close to Jihad. They are, they work together always, you know, they work hand in hand. So it's, it makes sense that Kalavan would be like, oh, you know, my, my, my God's, basically my God's brother or my God's close friend is here. Oh shoot. I gotta follow him. You know what I mean? It wouldn't make any sense for Kalavan. Like, Kalavan still wants to kill Liboric, as far as I know, but he's probably putting it on the back burner because he realizes there are more important things going on. We got Lafav, kaboom! Blowing up the gate, but then Kal Dude, if Lafav's bullet had gone off, I don't know if it would have destroyed the gate. I don't know if the explosion would have. It might have, though. There was a good chance it would have. If Kalavan hadn't intervened, it would have taken so long for the family head to show up. Lafav almost single-handedly saved the day. Oh my gosh, bro. And that's her father. Like, that's her That's her family leader. She was... I feel like when Traumarai shows up, he probably doesn't even know who she is, you know? But if he does, or at least, like, Perseus and uh, Perdity are gonna be like, Yo, Lafav, what uh, what was that about, hmm? What was... What was go and, and she's gonna be screwed. She's gonna be absolutely... Dude, it's gonna be over, bro. 
da, da, and cut. There he is. He's like, oh, you thought I was on your side? Ha! Ha! You didn't read the end of season two, bro. The warp. Oh, man, it's, it hurts to see, though. I liked ch I liked having Kalavan on the good side, man. It felt good. Neighboron says we gotta get Gustang. He's our only chance. 100%, bro. Without Gustang, it is over. I love... I love the design of this ship. So good. So good. And how they go out separately, but then connect once it's out. It's so cool. So cool how this thing came out of that portal. You know what I mean? SIU's like ship designs and like background designs, machines. So good on top of his amazing character. Oh, Jeremy Joestar. Thank you for the super chat. So who's the first to take on Traumarine? Also, White and Kalavan betraying the team shouldn't even be a surprise? No, for sure. Um, it's a good question. I mean, I don't think he's gonna fight unless he absolutely needs to. He's just gonna kinda oversee the situation, you know? Because anyone who really fights him, they're dead. They're done, you know? So I don't know. But if someone is going to, it better be Gustang. But if it's not Gustang, probably bomb, but we'll see. Perseus, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, Holin, I think is what his name is. We finally get to meet Holin, who is a branch candidate. He's not actually a family head. Also, thank you for the super chat, Jeremy Joestar. I forgot to say that. Um, appreciate it, as always. And here comes trauma. Everyone here, bow your heads. Do not look at him. And do not even dare to imagine him. Not even don't imagine him. Do not dare. Do not dare to imagine him. Like, what? They're gods. It's literally like seeing a god descend from the sky to them. You know what I'm saying? And for good reason. I mean, look at them. He, he, oh, they've never seen him before. You know, most people, half of the branch leaders haven't even seen him before. It's crazy. So Bomb's team arrives. Where the frick is Yule? Okay, where the frick? I actually, okay, so hear me out. We're gonna go on a little tangent here because I, this has been a weird back and forth for me and I might've figured out what's going on, okay? Because look at this. Wait, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I thought I figured it out, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> Because look, there he is. It's Yule, bro, right here, okay? He's here for this chapter. He goes with them, Mr. Snake Boy, okay? <gasps> maybe he's being controlled. Or maybe SIU forgot to draw him. I don't know. I. <laughs> but I thought maybe he was this soldier. I thought maybe he disguised himself to distract this guy. But it doesn't make sense because we see him down there with them. But I feel like Yule is a snake man, and this arc is all about, you know, the snake people, or partially. So it's not him. I thought maybe it was this soldier. I thought he dressed up as a soldier, but maybe not. Because we go to the latest chapter, we scroll down, okay? I'm telling you, man, there's something going on. Because when we go down here, he's not there. He's not... Where's that guy? I think we lost him. They're talking about Ureo. I mean, not Ureo. Urari. Wait. Yes, Urari. They're talking about Urari. Look, he's not there, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What the frick is going on? Okay. I think he's being controlled, man. Or SIU forgot. But if SIU forgot, he forgot him for so many panels. Which is so weird. Like, normally it's like, okay, maybe one panel. But every panel of this chapter doesn't feature Yule. Maybe it's a part of their plan? But it's, it's a bit odd. He's hiding. 
Hello from France, love your content. Second person from France to say that. Thank you so much, John Hideo. Appreciate that. Shout out to France, bro. Last time we saw Karaka's group? That's a good question. I mean, it's been quite a while. Our head of the... Oh. Yeah. Head of the Lopobia family, bro. Look at this, man. The big reveal. Okay. I've seen a lot of comments about this little dude. All right? A lot of... From France as well? Let's go Bjorn. I've seen a lot of comments from people who say he has to. He absolutely has to have some kind of form like Evankel, but probably even more so where he uh, decompresses, right? Because why else would your pillows be this freaking big and your jacket be this freaking huge? Okay, something's odd. Is he wearing like a kilt? It's just, dude, he has to. And I kind of agree, but that would make him like a giant. Maybe he is, I don't know. But look at this dude. His design is insane, bro. The light green hair, the face mask, dude. I just want to believe Bomb will get captured so that Jinsung will be free. I'd be down. That sounds like a cool plot point. Do you think he can control Bomb? Um, Bomb's an irregular, so you make a good point. Maybe not, but I don't think it would matter. <laughs> He's a master of Shinwei. He's the master. He is the original anima. You know what I mean? Like, it's over, bro. At this point, it's just over. There it is. Oh, I thought that was Yule. It's Hockney. We're going to go back to the Truggy fight. Last cookie, I promise. Whoop. Okay, it is time, everyone. Hey, what's, welcome, Light. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you as always, our wonderful mod. Awesome seeing Joe stuff his face. Bro, I spent like an hour making those cookies, all right? I got a cash in my reward. Okay, here we go. Tower of God, episode 108, AKA chapter 500. And 25. Okay. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. We're starting with the freaking. All right. Before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video, this stream. It supports the channel. It would mean a lot. Um, you know, if you're enjoying the Dr. Bonehead content. Also, keep in mind that we have a, our own original series on the channel, which is a prequel story that goes into what happened before Tower of God. It's called Towers and Gods. It's with me and my friends, D&D, &D, Tower of God. It's a ton of fun. If that sounds like it's kind of fun to you, maybe check it out. Check out the latest episode or one of the earlier ones. It doesn't matter. You know, go show that show some support if it sounds like you would be interested. And what else? I think that's about it, right? I think that's it. Let's freaking go. Also, if you're a fan of Attack on Titan, I'm doing Attack on Titan reactions. Those are also on the channel. So um, if you like Attack on Titan, you want to see how I react. It's my favorite anime of all time. Then check those videos out as well. Okay. Here we freaking go, bro. Tower of God, season three, episode 108, or chapter 525. Here we go. Thank you, guys. Thank you in the chat. For, for, uh, for saying those kind things about the show. <sighs> Lopobia family. Lopobia. Traumari. Lopobia Traumari. That name is sick, bro. Where is... Why are they meowing? I just started the stream! I know. I know. What, you wanna, you wanna come in? You can come in if you want. Maybe they'll say hi, you can say hi? I was just starting, Krona, what the frick? Come on now. Well, if a cat shows up, you know, 
that could happen. Okay, let's go. Who came from outside the tower? Tower of God, 52nd floor. The Descent. Wow, he's already making an appearance. What's up, Chrono? What's up, buddy? Hey. And he leaves. <laughs> he's like, okay, I didn't want to get picked up. Come on. Control room. Fish tank. Okay, we're jumping back to the Truggy fight. I know not everyone is thrilled with the Truggy stuff. I think it's great, you know. Plus, Rack is gone, which means... I mean, dare I say, dare I hope to say, Elaine, screen time, any dialogue whatsoever from Elaine, I mean, that would be kind of cool. I don't know, just an idea. J just saying, bro. The kitties know the master anima. Hey, you guys aren't being, you guys aren't being controlled by Traumari, are you? Freaking, gonna have to lock my door tonight. <laughs> All right, here we go. Great, all the participants on the field reach their destinations to success. Dude, it's been so long since we've seen this group. Now that all participants on the field have arrived at their destination, the Gokja Doseng game ends. Wait, so everyone made it? Kalo, that's tr That's true! Yama made it to the end to fight Isracha, Evan Kel got teleported, Kalavan got teleported, and Bomb made it. That's true! The game's over! Wow! That was a fun game. I gotta say, a lot of fun fights, you know? It was a cool concept. What the? Already? Since the Gokja Dosen game is over, the cat and mouse game at the cat tower will end. That's probably McBurn. I always call him McBurn, bro. Because of Trails of Cold Steel. Um, McCage. This game field is no longer needed. So. Okay. Okay. So, I was, here I was thinking, like, you know, wow, we actually have some peaceful... You know, some time to, like, rest and chill, you know? Mm. Instead, we will blow it up in 30 minutes. Dude! Dude! Huh? A super bomb is hidden somewhere inside the cat tower. You should either remove that bomb, sounds like a plan, or escape by catching the mouse. <laughs> Elaine, Elaine, can we get some claps in the chat, bro? I want to I want to hear thunderous applause because SIU gave Elaine dialogue and he drew Elaine. Let's freaking go. Let's go. This is a glorious day, my friends. Tower of God fans are eating well tonight. We're getting we <laughs> Dude, it's already a great chapter. Elaine, come on, bro. It's over. It's over. It's over. Come on. We can end the chapter here. Come on. What? What kind of nonsense is that? You never mentioned it before. I love you, Elaine. Not as much as Ewa, but I love you. We're never we're not gonna see her for like 20 chapters, so I wanted to I wanted to give her a little shout out, you know. Let's go, the thunderous applause. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the game field is our private property, so once the game is over, it's up to us to blow it up or not. That's so stupid. It's our private He's like, you know, legally we have the right. It's like, dude, shut up. No one's arguing whether you can legally do this. I mean, Elaine is saying you never mentioned it. But, but, okay, fine. She's, okay. My point is like, it's such a dumb argument. It's like, I'm gonna toss. Okay, I don't wanna. <laughs> uh, like, you, you don't, you get what I'm saying, you know? It's like, if I go into a public place and it's like, hey, I'm gonna do this crazy thing because it's my property. It's like, dude, you, you're crazy. If you feel this is unfair, you should own a field too. Dude, shut up! You should own a field too? Yeah, and then when you convince people to go play on it, you can blow it up. Yeah, that makes sense, bro. Makes sense. What the heck? Then we'll start the 30 minute countdown. Flux Volk is the MVP? Heck yeah, bro. Shout out to Flux Volk. We don't have a choice. Let's get out of the control room. We should find either the bomb or a mouse. That's true. I guess there's still mice, but can you go onto the field? 
if the game is over? I guess you can. There's just no game to play. Hmm. All right, let's go. Dude, Elaine and Hockney teaming up? What? Let's go. We've kind of been seeing them together. It's like, it's kind of an odd duo, but I'm used to it. What happens to me now? Oh no, Truggy, bro. Truggy's about to blow up. We're, we're having, cr we're having uh, cooked crab for dinner tonight, my friends. Let's go. Oh. What? G you know, hook your girl. Come on, Hockney. Is he seeing the future? Is he seeing the frickin... What's this? Suffocating, quiet yet ominous. Is he sensing Traumerai? Either he can just sense Traumerai from that distance, or it's his eyes. Don't worry, 30 minutes in fiction is usually five days. True. I was expecting him to say like five minutes, but 30 minutes, brah, come on, come on. He's sensing Traumerai in front of the second defensive wall. Do -do <gasps> Sophia! What's up, Sophia Tan? Dang, she looks cool. She looks cool there. What the frick? This feeling. She's a master light bearer. Yo, what's up, Sophia? <laughs> it's kind of random that we cut to Sophia, but she's in the needle. She's in the needle, chilling. Oh my gosh. We're... We're actually getting dialogue, bro. Perhaps I've been out for such a long time. This place is too cold. Dude, you, you, hey, what, hey, no, 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 no. Luca, come on. What are you doing, you causing trouble? You causing trouble like always? Come on now. Come on now. I'm trying, you, you, that, don't look at him. Don't, don't look him in the eyes. If you look him in the eyes, he's gonna mind control you. Okay. Freaking jeez. You gotta be careful of that. All right, you know, go play. Just don't play with my computer. Okay, cool. Dude, he he was like an ancient beast, an ancient warrior. Dude, how come every time Traumarai shows up, my cat wants to freaking do stuff? Yeah, exactly, Jedi. Exactly, Hannah. Hey guys, you might need to. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Dude, he he was an ancient warrior who slew probably like hundreds of rankers, thousands of Shinwei, controlling them, you know, climbing the tower, taking the tests from the administrators, which are harder tests. Um, it's hinted at, right? They're, at least they're different tests. And he says, "I'm cold." Dude, they be they've been coddled. They've been coddled. They're gods now, you know. Now, also, this could insinuate other things, you know? It's not like he's weaker, I'm not saying that, but like, he hasn't been outside in like thousands of years. Like, done. And bright. My man was sitting in a room playing Elden Ring for thousands of years. I wouldn't blame you, but like, bro, <laughs> he makes Repolista, he makes Repolista look like a casual gamer. Oh my gosh. He's like, ugh. Traumerai did. Did you look? You heard what they said not to look at him, bro. What the frick? Can he not see him? What's going on? Damn it, what kind of magic did he use? I can't see anything. No, maybe it's rather better this way since he might kill me if my eye. What? Oh, I didn't even notice this. He went, ugh, ugh, the light. Let's just make the entire room dark. This is a god. This is a god. Bruh, he was like, dead. He cast darkness, he went, whoop. Oh my gosh. A true gamer. I respect it. And Han Sung is like, he's so wet, and bro, Han Sung is, whew. And he said, you know what? Good. Well, we we know actually. Remember Reflejo, the boy from the workshop battle, Mr. Shadow Scythe Man, when he looked upon a princess of Jihad, him and his entire clan were killed. Well, he wasn't killed. <laughs> he had his eyes ripped out, 
or like his eyes were burned with the symbol of jihad, right? Okay, you know, it's like, that's a princess of jihad. This is a family head. Raise your head, owl. Oh, he, so he does know a few of his, you know, subordinates, you know. Yes, sir. Dang, I, my respect for Perdity just shot up. Hearing the Traumarai, a family head be like, Owl, rise. It's like, dude, that alone just speaks a lot. Look at this man! Uh, where is the irregular? I could just stare at this panel, bro. I can't believe we're looking at the leader of the Lopobia family. Is this a dream? It's that... We do not know yet. We'll find out where he... He went to the third defensive wall! <laughs> Liboric? I had so much respect for you. I had so much respect for you. He's such a rat, bro. Uh, uh, pick me. Uh, I know where he is. Uh, it's like, shut up. No one cares. No one cares. Okay, my respect for Perdity shot up and Liboric is tumbling down, bro. Now, to be fair, like, he's answering the leader's question. Like, okay, fair enough. But like, the, uh, uh, it's it's just, the, dude, I don't know. He's just acting like such a goon. Like, Boric, bro, it's not your turn with the talking stick. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, Boric is nuts that even exposed Moshni. Wait, true. He should be in the teleport ship at the third defensive wall. He's meeting Princess Moshni there. You just ratted out Moshni? Luca, can you believe you just ratted out Moshni? Dude. Even Calavon's like, it's like, did you get this guy, bro? Then bring him. I'm not interested in the other creatures. He calls them creatures. He calls them creatures, bro. He doesn't even see people as people at this point because he just sees them all as Shinwei. That's actually crazy. I'm not interested in the other creatures. He literally sees them as worms. And that bomb is like, hmm, a potential, a potential killer wasp, right? But everyone else is worms. Like Perdity and, and Perseus, they might be like scorpions maybe? And he sees himself as like a killer whale. You know, it's crazy, bro. Ah, uh, he called him Owl, exactly! Owl, horse, like he doesn't even call them by their names. He's like, Owl, you know, do the horse, you know. So bring the irregular and you may kill the others. Well, hey, it was a good try, everybody. Rest in peace, Hockney. Rest in peace, Elaine, and Hots, and Shibisu, and Cha, and Doan, and Karaka. Right, hey, it was a good run. Rest in peace, bro. Yes, sir. Horse, you stay here. I'll be going with Holen. Yes. So Perseus is gonna be defending Traumerai. Okay. No! Oh, Hansung. What the? Oh, it's Perseus. I thought that was Traumerai. I was like, how dare you raise your voice in his presence? Shut it! Ah! Stop it! What the frick? No! You. He could. He has a whip. Perseus's special skill: seahorses' reins. I don't like this, bro. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Hey, Calavon. <laughs> hey, Calavon. What's up? You wanna come help us? Dude, LaFave is not gonna do anything. She... Mm, I mean, Hansung's fine. You know what I'm saying? Hansung's fine. Although, SIU did just give Han... Nah. I can't breathe. I mean, you did raise your voice in trauma. I'm, you know what? I'm with Perseus on this one, Hansung. How dare you? That's Lopo be a trauma, I, bro. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. Calm down. All right, Hansung is my boy. <laughs> Just say another word, and I'll be twisting your neck. Or oh, since our family leader ordered us to kill everyone, 
I might as well twist it now. Stop, stop, stop. Han Sung, Han Sung, Han Sung. I need you to be like, Pew! you're an anima. Summon your Shinwei from the freaking Shinsu. The only time we saw him summon his creature was when the creature like lived there though. Can still, I'm sure you brought it with you. Just freaking pull, you have a bowl, right? Where's your bowl? Is it your hair? Come on. That Han Sung pin. We're scrolling away. We're scrolling away now before people. The fragment for the contract. <gasps> huh? 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 For the contract of immortality. That man. Han Sung knows stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. It's history lesson time, okay? A, we know that Han Sung had, knows something about V and Bomb even way back when on the, on the hidden floor. Something, okay? So we know that. But the most important thing about this, the reason I'm freaking out. Well, first of all, even trauma I went. Because SIU said that Han Sung Yu is connected to the Hendo Lock family. He said Han Sung has a connection to Blood Matter or something. Hendo Lock family at least, right? And Hendo Lock is the only one who didn't make the contract of immortality. Ah! Stop, horse. Family leader? Take that creature to the main be ah! He's the one my friend is! What? He's the one my friend is looking for. Hendo lock blood matter. True, he called him friend. That's a 10 fa- It's blood matter. It's blood matter. It's blood matter. There's no one else. Blood matter's the only one who doesn't have a contract of immortality. And we know SIU said he's connected to Han Sung Yu in a blog post. Oh no. He's gonna capture Han Sung. We're never gonna see him again. No. No. Luca, do you have any thoughts? Any thoughts? Oh, bro, what the frick is happening? What's happening? Oh my gosh, man. Dude, this is insane. This changes everything, guys. Literally. Literally. This is crazier to me than like, Okay, this is crazier than like seeing Traumari. Because we've known about the Hendo Lock Blood Matter thing for years, like a decade. And we're finally getting some something on it. They swap. No! Bomb lose Bomb gets Jin Sung but loses Han Sung. He gets one master and loses another, like Seth is saying. No! Stop this. I want Han Sung. Bro, if he hadn't said that, he would have died. Percy, we, okay, they did say Perseus, Widow, and Perdity are the strongest branch family leaders. <sighs> Take that creature to the main ship. He's the one my friend is looking for. Yes, sir. You may kill all the others. I wonder if that's why Han Song was even extra freaking out at the mention of Traumarai's name. Although, he probably just, he knew if I told that to any family. What does Han Song, how, do, how does Han Song know this? What did Han Song do? The... Bro, true Lafave. Oh no. Oh no. 
Um, this is not good. This is really not good, guys. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Light. I need you to work. Oh, bro, Han Sung is so much more important than we thought. Yeah, I mean, what? He's the one my friend is looking for. That line. He's a piece to gain immortality. I don't know about that. Wait, you're right, though. He said the. Fragment for the contract of a Okay, guys, we're taking a history lesson, okay? I know most a lot of you know this already Hendelock blood matter, okay? As a reward for passing the test the guardian of the 100th floor offered Jihad and the great warriors the test of immortality One was excluded the head of the Hendelock family Hendelock blood matter the reason is not known But blood matter begged the guardian for a way to receive eternal life and he decided to do it under one condition. If you give your children and your children's children the curse of a short life, you alone will be able to live an eternal life through the life you've given them. Okay? Through the life you've given them. According to SIU, he is deeply connected to Yu Han Sung. Dude. Lenor Nor, thank you for the super chat. It's a mistranslation. It's a mistranslation. Hansung says that he himself is the fragment of the contract of Wait, are you serious? So he's saying I'm the fragment for the con Bruh Bruh Yu Han in Korean means finite? Okay, I... I think I believe you, Lenore, because other people in the chat were saying it's also a, a, a mistranslation. Is he from the Hendel... I don't know! I don't know! Thank you for letting me know. I'm gonna... Uh, think either way. I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's saying I saw that raw trans. Okay. Yeah, but if he's Blood Matter descendant, what makes him special? Blood Matter has a ton of. Blood Matter has the most kids of any family head. The one to obtain the contract of immortality of that of that man is me. I was the- I was one of the fragments for that man to achieve his immortality? Okay. This definitely connects to blood matter. Yeah, one way or another. I I'm gonna stop here. Not stop, but like stop on this tangent. Thank you all for- for clearing that up. I mean, I'll- I'll dig into that and see. I mean, bro. Holy frick. Take that creature. All right, Chrono, if you want to come up, you can come up to the main ship. He's the one my friend is looking for. Yes, sir. You may kill all the others. <laughs> Damn it. This is bad. At this rate, everyone will be killed. Han Sung, who are you? What do you know? It's kind of ambiguous. I'm Korean. Oh, thank you, Supersonic Good. Uh, Yu Han Sung ended off with... That, which means I. Oh! Alright, Supersonic Good coming in. So he's saying, like, 
the contract, I, ah, uh, intriguing. Thank you for that clarification. That makes more sense. Yeah, okay, I, I think we just, just go with the official translation. Go, just take everything with a grain of salt. Okay, interesting. Thank you all for, for sharing all your different thoughts on that. Dang, you are hairy, Chrono. Sheesh! Get that winter coat, huh? Oh, dude, you can't cut away! No! Bomb side inside the huge suspendium. Dang, Hua Ryun, let's go! What the frick is this? This is one, two, three, four, five. Some kind of circle for casting a spell. I think you're right. I can feel a spell. Wait, don't touch it. You might break the spell by touching. <laughs> He's like, bomb. You're good at breaking spells. Like the. <laughs> it's a ceiling circle. Oh, Vicente coming in clutch. It's similar to the one they use on the train, but much more sophisticated. Looks like something important is here. And what is Miss what Miss Moshini said is here? It's highly possible. What did you pick up? Oh, he's just reading his book. <laughs> Let's break the seal now. No, we shouldn't be breaking it. There must be a trap that destroys what's inside or takes it elsewhere once the seal is broken. Then what should we do? Dang, Vic good thing we have Vicente who knows a lot about freaking seals. We should open it the right way by interpreting the spell circle. And you think you can do it? You said it's a very sophisticated seal. The way to just opening a ceiling He's like, dude, let me read my book. <laughs> the way to just open a ceiling circle is not that hard. It's like putting a key into a lock. What's difficult is to find a key that fits into this ceiling circle. But so luckily enough, we happen to have a master key right here. Bomb is a master key, confirmed. Yeah, isn't that right, Chrono? He's confirmed. Ah, he's so cute. Ah, what's up, Chrono? You, you, ah, quah, quah. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> back to, uh, back to Tower of God. Can you stand at the center of the ceiling circle? Like this? Right. You're not pulling some kind of stunt, are you? Oh, Kuhn, you're not pulling some kind of stunt, are you, like, taking back the power away from him? Dude, you gotta trust Vicente. The boy trusted Wongnan and Iwa when they gave him snacks, okay? Trust him. You seem to be overprotective of this boy. I'm not being overprotective. You're right, he does act like his dad sometimes. Dude, that's awesome. I mean, finally someone says it, bro. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Quarian's like, yeah. I mean, that's... You're describing Kuhn's character. Like, that's his entire character, bro. Ugh. A family symbol in the... <gasps> ah! Hannah? Oh, you can't see it. Hannah, you're a genius. What the frick? I didn't even notice that. Guys, look at this right here. Bro. And then look at this. It's from Hendo Lock family? Is it confirmed? To be from Hendo Lock? No, it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed to be from Hendo Lock. It could be. But we don't know. We, we only know that this, I'm guessing this pink symbol right here is the Yan family because we know their symbol is the pink, the, you know, the Zigana flower. I'm assuming this on the left is REA. But aside from that, we, we don't know. Bro, 
Okay, there's spoilers in chat. I'm minimizing now. If you don't want to get spoiled, I don't, you know, we're trying to figure out to get more YouTube mods. I apologize for that. Um, we're trying to revamp our whole mod system in general. So for now, we're just going to not look at chat. But Hannah, shout out! But if that is, it could be Lopobia, now that I'm thinking about it, because this is their thing, right? I don't know. But that is insane. Lopobia, Hendo Lock, Eurasia? If this is, if this is freaking Eurasia N sealed here. Kuhn is pissed off. Would you kneel and put one hand on the floor? Yes. Like this? Right. Good thing we have Vicente, bro. In the center of the circle is where a key goes in, so the spell itself wouldn't be broken. All right, let's get started. Everyone else, step out of the, cir out of the circle. That guy is really not trying to pull a trick. Don't be so obsessive. <laughs> Shut up, dinosaur. What's above is the ceiling circle, and on the floor is the interpreting circle that breaks the spell. Now through the one who opens the gate. Vicente is knowledgeable. Now through the one that opens the gate, the two circles will be combined. Oh, there was a circle above? Even Hua Ryun's like. This, vib this vibrations. The two circles were originally one. What is happening? If the key interprets and connects the two circles, they become one. And what's sealed inside will be revealed. They're gonna arrive right as this is happening. Perdity and Holin! Dang, Holin looks cool. What's that? There's someone at the... You're, you're not telling me. You're not... No, no, I'm missing something. I'm missing. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, no. Dude, no way! but like he's free free he's healed up too wait he's healed up like entirely all right chrono i need you I, I dude there's someone at the entrance it's just like ah hi are you the owl it's over bro it's over dude hi are you the owl you must be wondering why I'm here instead of being locked up. Bro, Moshini is 10D chess! This is all part of her plan! You can't pass through here for a while. What? Since. I'm go- Dude! Dude! Screenshot, screenshot, screenshot again. Bro. I didn't think we'd see Jin Sung in action, let alone this soon. Bro. I, I use this to, to get hair off my debt. Don't worry about it. Dude. I'm, I'm in so much shock. I don't even know how to respond. Joe's hair is the same as Jin Song's hair? I mean, it's a little bit different. I'd say his, his looks a little bit cleaner, but thank you, I guess. Oh, dude, what insane Jin Sung Ha has entered the chat. But dude, the most, okay, we gotta give a shout out to him. Jin Sung Ha is about to collapse them, bro. I have a feeling he's gonna do a one-on-one -on -one with Perdity, right? Because Perdity's a big deal, right? 
and then a Holin's gonna sneak on through and fight Bomb. That's what I think. Someone get Papa Jin a lollipop? He needs one, bro. Papa Jin needs a lollipop. Also, what the frick is Han Sung gonna do? This was an insane revelation, bro. How is he gonna protect Lafav? Like, what? Or everyone else, you know? Maybe Lafav will be pardoned? There's no freaking way, dude. Oh, but, but dude, shout out to Hannah, who spotted this. We just don't know which family it is. It looks like maybe Hendo Lock. I don't know why, it just fits for me. But that would mean there's so many connections to Hendo Lock. Also, who, which, which family has the cheese? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bro, that's probably Blossom because the flowers. Dude, duh. Dude, the consistency. This was from so long ago. Bro. And then freaking Jin Sung Ha! <laughs> Insane, bro. Lopobia, the green one. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. There's there's a lot of different theories uh, about what it could be. There, it could be a lot of different things, you know, for sure, for sure. Dude. Let's go up to the panel of trauma. The symbol is there. Wait, is it really? Wait, really? Where's he at? You, you, you said the symbol was here. I, I'm not seeing any symbol. I'm not seeing any symbol. Did I get trolled? <gasps> is that is that what it is? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> oh, I think you're right. Oh, I think you're right. I think it is Lopobia. Which again, makes the most sense because they're the ones who own the thing. But that's crazy that SIU kept it? Do we get another shot of the chair? Give me, give me another shot of the chair. Good eye. Good eye, bro. Uh, that's insane. How'd you spot that? Well, shout out to Hannah for spotting it originally. I think that's it. I think that's it. That has to be it. That's the Lopobia symbol. Interesting, it is Lopobia. Yo, hey, we tag teamed that. Shout out to the chat, bro. Great tag team figuring that out. That's awesome. Oh shoot, dude. That's crazy. That was so much fun. I love this chapter. One of the best new chapters. I mean, the reveals were nuts. Jin Sung, Lopobia, freaking bombs, you know, the, the summoning circle, Shwamurai. There was so much this chapter. Loved it, bro. Loved every second of it. Um, yeah, this was great. Please show SIU some support by liking the chapter. And if you want to, you know, continue to do so, just, you know, you can share the story and like the chapters, man. It'll support SIU. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. This was so much fun. Love these chapters. God of high school fans. A lot of you have been asking, where are the live reactions? I've been waiting until we can save up the chapters. But I think either this week or next week, we'll do them in a batch. We'll do like the, the, the newest chapters. The first four, the last four or five chapters, we'll do them in a batch. I think it's better than just doing it one at a time, personally, for God of High School. So uh, stay tuned for that if you're a God of High School fan. And uh, yeah, rock, paper, scissors. If you lose, you gotta like the stream. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Pop! Show me them rocks. Show me the rocks in the chat. Show me the rocks. No, God of High School didn't end. Yes! I took out Bruno! I took out Navaron! Yes! Woo! I won. Paper, paper, rock, paper, scissors, scissors. I have a few scissors. Paper, scissors, a lot of you are, uh, I'm watching you, man. Rock, rock, hey, I got a lot of you. Let's go, I, I, I'm gonna count this week as a dub for me, a rare dub, let's go. Chose rock, thank you, Hannah, but you already liked it, fair enough, fair enough. Well, you know what, that makes you even cooler. If you like, if you like before the game, 
you're like, everyone who did that, you're like, you're next level, bro. You are next level. Scissors? Okay, there's a lot of scissors. I'm gonna, st I'm not gonna read the scissors, you know, I don't know about that. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you next Friday, or sorry. Well, yeah, Friday for Towers and Gods, and next Sunday at the usual time for more Tower of God. With that being said, take care. Peace.